Update 9.15 brings improved physics and sounds, vehicle rebalance, interface changes, and many other interesting features. World of Tanks changed drastically with Update 9.14. New physics for vehicle movement opened new opportunities. We received a lot of feedback from you, studied it, and pointed out your key suggestions. The algorithm for surface traction was reworked in 9.15. It is now more difficult to flip your vehicle over, but the risk of flipping over is still there for critical maneuvers. Damage from falling or collision with an obstacle in mid-air is now more predictable. In the previous version, any time the tracks left the map surface could lead to receiving damage. Now, the revamped system for damage calculation turns on after a particular duration of flight and height of fall. When falling from a height less than 4 meters, the higher the height, the greater the damage taken will be. The fall from greater heights will lead to the same consequences as before. Previously, when a vehicle's hull touched an immobile object, it could stick and vehicle movement was hampered. This inconvenienced players and could often lead to dire consequences in combat situations. Now, this problem is history. The sounds of hits on the vehicle were changed in Update 9.15. They became clearer and more emphasized. Every subsequent hit sounds louder than the previous one. The sounds differ depending on the severity of the damage received. Low damage sounds like this. This is the medium damage sound. And a great loss of durability sounds like this. Non-penetration now sounds more solid. The sounds for activation of the camouflage net and binocular telescope were added. And for deeper immersion in the game, players are now able to choose their type of audio system, audio 2.0-2.1, and headphones. Also, support for sound effect modifications appeared. The characteristics of 19 vehicles were reviewed and 19 more vehicles were reworked in HD. The Soviet T-22 medium tank received a number of balance changes. This vehicle outmatched its counterparts significantly, so it was decided to change some of its characteristics in order to maintain game balance. The tank dynamics and accuracy were reduced, its dispersion and aiming time were increased, and its turret and hull traverse speed became lower, but the unique armor of this vehicle remained. The OI Experimental and OI from a rather young Japanese branch were quite different from vehicles of the same tier in other nations. In order to restore the equilibrium, it was decided to rebalance the characteristics of the Japanese heavy tanks. The firepower of Tier 3 and Tier 4 tanks was improved due to their poor statistics. The Waffenträger Alf E100 retires, and it's getting replaced by another interesting vehicle, the Grill 15. This German tank destroyer is a logical development of the Waffenträger Alf Panzer IV, and it will become a worthy crown of the branch. The Grill 15 stands out due to its high dynamics, excellent damage per minute, and the most accurate gun in the game. The characteristics of 10 premium vehicles were improved. The Soviet A-32 received higher accuracy and armor penetration. The American M-56 Scorpion tank destroyer had its dispersion on the move and aiming time reduced. Terrain crossing capacity, view range, and convenience of delivering fire were improved for the T-95E2 and T-95E6 medium tanks. The Japanese heavy tank No. 6 and STA-2 now have better armor penetration. The view range and firepower of the Chinese 59 Patton became higher. The armor penetration for a standard shell was improved on the Skoda T-40. You can learn more details about all the balance changes on the World of Tanks website. A new format for displaying vehicle parameters, simplified technical characteristics, appeared in the game settings. It shows key groups of combat vehicle characteristics, firepower, survivability, mobility, concealment, and spotting. 
The system of dynamic technical characteristics was implemented. They change in real time depending on the equipped modules, mounted equipment, consumables, and crew training. Thanks to this feature, you will be able to choose the most suitable vehicle configuration and make playing it more accessible. Now you can preview vehicles in the garage before you purchase them. You can take a detailed look at the combat vehicle, learn its characteristics in different configurations, and form a general opinion. A new system of tank carousel filters with flexible adjustment was implemented. Vehicles are now sorted not only by their type, tier, and nation, but also by their status and availability of bonuses for the first victory. This speeds up the selection of the required vehicle and makes interaction with the interface more pleasant. The login screen and garage now display information about ping on the game servers. You can choose the most suitable server for your region to play with maximum convenience. A notification to warn that the battle is ending soon was added to the game. Two minutes before the battle ends, a timer appears on the screen. It's accompanied by a sound notification during the last minute of the battle. Now, there will be fewer bitter defeats caused by a lack of attention. Changes were also made to the base capture indicator. It became more informative. Besides the capture bar, the number of capturers and time until the base capture is complete are displayed. A new type of reticle appeared in the settings. It's a solid circle with a load indicator. Also, two zoom magnification levels were added, 16 and 25. Now everyone can be snipers. Personal missions are an opportunity to receive unique combat vehicles. In the new update, a number of missions for all vehicle types were adjusted. It's now easier to complete them. For example, a mission for setting enemy vehicles on fire with medium tanks was changed. Now, players only need to set one vehicle of a higher tier on fire instead of two. Playing in platoons will be encouraged in Update 9.15. When playing in a platoon with vehicles of the same tier, players will receive bonuses to experience. The higher the vehicle tier, the higher the bonus will be. Platoons with a difference in vehicle tiers of three or more will receive penalties to experience. A warning about incorrect vehicle selection will be displayed when players of these platoons try to join a battle. This will help avoid imbalance between the teams. You can learn more about penalties and bonuses in a special article on the website. The World of Tanks team continues to work on game optimization. In Update 9.15, a transition to the new platform, Core Engine 3.0, was implemented. This allowed us to significantly increase performance when playing with medium graphics settings, both for improved and standard graphics. The FPS boost for clean game clients without third-party mods will improve significantly. The system for special effects lighting was reviewed for the improved graphics. Smoke and explosions now look more natural and consistent. Support for DirectX 11 was added. It creates a platform for further graphics improvements. That's all for now. Play and win on the World of Tanks battlefields. Good luck.